السلام علیکم رحمۃ اللہ برکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین رب الشرلی صدری ویسرلی عمری وحل الاخدتم مل لسانی یف خفو خولی ویلکم ٹو صوفی واش Today we'll look at Hazrat's journey to Baghdad. Hazrat Sheikh Abdul Khadar Jilani's childhood is filled up with miracles. The earliest miracle of his childhood is at Madrasa. When Hazrat recited all the 18 chapters of the Quran at a stretch without stopping. and hazrat's age at that time was only 5 years the act of hazrat's quran reciting continuously had surprised all and when asked how hazrat could recite the remaining part of the quran hazrat replied that he had learned only 18 chapters in his mother's womb as his mother used to recite them on a regular basis such a pious was the ang budding saint our master of masters another prominent miracle of his childhood is once hazrat hazrat's mother had punished him and and immediately hazrat responded to his mother or you taking revenge of your fainting when i was in your womb hazrat's mother was wonder struck and did not understand what hazrat was referring to but she recollected that she had fainted once when when hazrat was in his in her womb and she recollected a past event once when she tried to pluck a fruit from the tree she had fainted hazrat said when you tried to pluck the fruit from the tree there was a poisonous snake on the branch and your life was at risk and to save you from the snake i had to pinch in your stomach to make you unconscious otherwise it was my least intention to hurt you so before he had come into this world he has shown the qualities of a saint a wali a friend of allah as we move on after hazrat's father has passed away his grandfather grandfather used to take care of him and as time passed due to age his grandfather also left this world leaving hazrat in the hands of his mother and to support the family once in a while hazrat used to take cattle to the fields and and one and on one such occasions hazrat suddenly heard an ox saying to him you are not born to do this works you are destined to something else go go and see what is written in your destiny you are not born to do this listening to the words this incident merely scared ang hazrat and he decided to pursue higher studies and in those days fam- the famous and popular educational hub was baghdad and he kept his wish before his mother to visit baghdad and to achieve attain higher education 
the pious mother understood that it is a time to depart from her beloved son and as she was unaware sorry she was aware of the fact that it was the last time she would see her son as she was at a very advanced age of her life and she knew that she will not be seeing her son son again in her lifetime upon his wish she said your father had left behind 80 dinars gold coins and your share in that 80 dinars is 40 dinars and the remaining 40 dinars are for your younger brother she said you can take those 40 dinars as your share and she instructed hazrat not to utter a lie in any circumstances in his life that was her nasihat that was her very strict instructions whatever may happen in his life he should never lie and in those days people used to travel not alone but in groups like caravans a group of merchants or a group of people joined together and taking their flock and cattle used to travel on long distances long uh, distances and there was always an risk of decoys robbing the travelers on the way so they used to move as a huge gathering or as a caravan the ang hazrat also joined one of the caravans which was going to baghdad they all knew that the ang hazrat was from a very pious family and they gave lot of respect to our hazrat and they started moving towards baghdad on their way a big group of decoys attacked the caravan and dropped the valuables from the travelers and when they asked hazrat about his valuable belongings did he have any and hazrat without a second thought replied he had 40 dinars with him they did not believe the ang hazrat and dropped other travelers in the last the head of the decoys asked them not to leave anyone in the caravan and to rob them all one of the decoys said there is a ang boy among the travelers who claims that he has 40 dinars with him the head asked the decoy the head of the decoy asked to bring hazrat to him and asked hazrat whether he really had 40 dinars with him and if yes then where had he kept them hazrat had shown the place in his robe where his mother has stitched the 40 dinars seeing the 40 dinars the head of the decoys was shocked and said you would have saved the dinars from our eyes then why didn't you do that hazrat replied that it was his mother's instruction to not to lie in any situation though there is a threat to his life hazrat's act of honesty had moved the hearts of decoys and a fear of facing god with a load of sins on their heads started worrying them and the head and his decoys started pleading the ang budding saint to repent on his hand 
and to embrace Islam. The 40 decades were the first to repent on our Ang Hazrat's hand and they accepted Islam and thereafter lived a very pious life. So that brings us to the end of how Hazrat has reached Baghdad. Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Izzati Amma Isifun Wa Salamu Alayna Musaleen Wa Hamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen